All right, cruising right along here with number 31. We are asked to solve the formula for the specified variable, and they give us f equals 9 fifths c plus 32, and they want us to solve for c. Now, this equation might look familiar to you if you've taken maybe uh, earth science before, or maybe uh, biology, or, or uh, another science. This is how you convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, the, the degrees. Uh, so if you want to go from, let's say, 35 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, you use this equation. And so you would plug in whatever you have in Celsius and do just some of this arithmetic and you get out what that is in Fahrenheit. And they want us to solve for C, and so what we're going to end up with at the end will actually be how we go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, so back the other direction. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have F equals 9 fifths C plus 32. Well, if we're solving for C, let's start moving things away from the C. So let's subtract 32 from both sides. That leaves us with F minus 32 equals 9 fifths C. And now this 9 fifths and the C are joined together with multiplication, aren't they? So if we want to get rid of the 9 fifths, we could either divide by 9 fifths, or the easier thing to do would be to multiply by its reciprocal. So let's multiply both sides of this equation by the reciprocal 5 ninths. So we'll multiply here by 5 ninths, we'll multiply here by 5 ninths, and here on the right, 5 and 5 cancel, 9 and 9 cancel, so we're just left with C. So C equals, and now 5 over 9 times the quantity F minus 32. And so there we have it. And again, this is how you would go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So uh, if it's 85 degrees out tomorrow and you wanted to know what that would be in Celsius, you plug in 85. To this formula here so plug in 85 85 minus 32 and then multiply by 5 ninths and you have the equivalent uh, in Celsius all right there was number 31 not too bad again let's take a look at 32